from oh, my husband. So my brother here is your husband. That's correct. Mr. Marco. Yes. Popularly known as Rambo. Yes, Do Rambo. You call him that name? I don't. You don't? No. Why? I have my own special name for him. Oh, special name? Yes. Yes. Okay, so what special name you call him? I call him Asante Hene. Hey, Asante Hene. <laughs> Rambo, I'm ready. Why are you ready? I'm ready. 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 I'
voyage to the home of my ancestors, go to Elmina Castle, you know, really get some heritage. These are some of the things that I was not taught as a child mm -hmm. because as a child, uh, we were made to fear mm -hmm. anything African. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first time you got to Ghana. Yes. Uh, what, how was the experience like? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It was a little difficult with getting out of the United States because it was COVID time. So there was restrictions and you had to have your COVID tests and all of these certain things. Mm -hmm. So getting out and maneuvering that was a little tricky because mm -hmm. I had not gone to another continent before. Yeah. So that part was difficult. But once I arrived here, the people of Ghana, they made me feel welcome. They made me feel as though I was not a stranger or a foreigner. Oh, really? Oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It was a very, very powerful experience. It gives me chills or goosebumps. Yeah, goosebumps. Because um, during our traditional wedding, everyone came dressed in their traditional clothing, and the, the chief, the elders, you know, they had on the kente cloth. And it was a very powerful and moving thing yeah. for me. Um, the church wedding was nice. But we do that sort of thing in America. So yeah. I experienced something new mm -hmm. and something that gave me a sense of pride and a sense of culture, which was learning about the history of Ghana and um, Asante and the, the, the Akan people, all of these things that I had not been taught before. Mm -hmm. So okay. I was very excited to, mm -hmm. to learn that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and compare the first time you came and then second time as you are here? Okay, what so, has changed within these two years in Tabas? Yes, well, what I am seeing now, the first time I was here, it was for a short time. Yeah. I'm here for a month this time. Mm -hmm. It has given me an opportunity to slow down and really experience real life in Ghana, what God, living in Ghana really is, how the people do their things, you know, as we pass by and I'm observing the women and the men and how everyone just goes about their daily life. Mm -hmm. And it's not so much the tourism part of Ghana, but I'm saying the real Ghana way of life, you know, and how things are here. Mm -hmm. You know, having talked to the local people and just really experiencing the real, you know, sometimes yeah when you're here or you travel to a place and you're only seeing the tourism side but you have to dig deeper you have to go deeper and see what is really going on and how life really is mm -hmm. and fortunately that is what i'm getting to see this time okay yes. so you've only said the the positive ones mm -hmm. the people here are friendly like they are you know, they communicate with you nicely they treat you as a queen of course you are a queen <laughs> uh, now that you are our mother, our sister, our wife, you treat you more like a queen. But what are the what other side of it? I mean, negative things you heard about Ghana before uh, coming here for the first time? One of the things in discussing with my husband, some of the culture and um, the, the ways of thinking, mm -hmm. right, the mindset. Um, I had been told previously that uh, Africans don't care about black Americans oh, and really? that we're not welcome here. They see us as outsiders. And I've even heard some through social media saying that we were blessed to have been sold into slavery because now we lived our life in America. We had a, a more blessed life than people who were in, mm -hmm. on the continent of Africa. Those are some of the things that pain my heart because I believe that we are descendants of Africans. Yeah. And so I feel like the bloodline is there, but then through social media, I'm seeing that there is some division. Yeah. Not all across the board, but there, there is some division there, mm. and there has been an agenda to keep us divided and separated. Mm. And that's what I, I, I don't like. Okay, yeah. but you got here and the, the, the story was totally different from... Yes, I've not experienced that. Yeah. I've not. Um, but what I've also seen is, like when I spoke in church on Sunday, and I told the people in the congregation, I said, when I look at people of Ghana, their businesses, taxi, whatever they're doing, they put God in it. They keep God in it. And I said, for that reason, 
that you all love God and you have not forgotten God, yeah. God has not forgotten you, mm -hmm. you see? Yeah. And a lot of people think, well, uh, America, you know, it's like the land, the streets of gold. It's like heaven on earth, but we have our own problems. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our problems have come from the fact that we have now turned away from God. Yeah. When I was a, a child in school, we had prayer in the morning before we started our school day. Yeah. But they have since banned that, you see. Mm. So it's like we're turning ourselves away from oh, God, right. okay. yes, and forgotten. Uh, why why was, did it ban the prayer and all those things? Well, it was one lady who, I don't remember her name, but she was basically saying, um, it's infringing upon the rights of others. Okay. You know, America is very much about freedom of speech. Yeah. You can live right. how you want to, do how you want to, doesn't matter, you know, anything goes. Yeah. Um, if you want to start a church, there's a church that worships mm -hmm. spaghetti. And they have a pastor who also worships spaghetti. Mm -hmm. yeah. They wear cooking pots on their head. Yeah. They don't worship God or Jesus, they worship the spaghetti. Mm, you see, yeah. so anything you want to do in America you, America, you can do, but with that has come some negative things, you see. Yeah. So freedom of speech, this lady, she petitioned single-handedly to get prayer taken out of the schools, Whoa. and she was successful, yes. Wow, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is kind of uh, unbelievable, but yes, that, yes. that's it. Okay, before I go to my next question, mm -hmm. I'm curious about the Amor. Where did you guys, you know, meet? More like, where did you meet my brother? Okay, it's very interesting. So <laughs> let me start from the beginning. Yeah. So um, the Lord speaks to me through dreams. Okay. okay. It's one of my giftings since I was a baby. Are you a dream interpreter? Yes, I okay. am. Yes. And so this particular dream that I had, in the dream, I saw myself with a man handsome, muscular man, oh, and okay. in the dream, I knew I could see that his name was Ernest. And I woke up and I says, Lord, I don't know anybody named Ernest. I don't have anyone in my life named Ernest. Oh. So I just kind of pushed the dream aside. I didn't think much of it. But a good friend of mine named Obed, who is, I consider my brother, I call him my brother. Mm -hmm. He lives here in Kamasi. Mm -hmm. So he called me up. This was two weeks after the dream. I didn't tell him anything. He called me up and he said, sis, I have the perfect person for you. And I said, I don't wanna be, don't match make me. I'm by myself, let me stay by myself, right? <laughs> I'm good so he, he was laughing and he said, no, no. He said, um, I think he's perfect for you. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't want any young boy. I want somebody my age. How old is he? He said, I think he's around your age. And my next, because I was difficult, my next question was, okay, well, what's wrong with him? Mm -hmm. Because he should be married, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my brother said, uh, just talk to him. I said, no, no, that went on for about two days. He said, sis, I already showed him your picture. This man is very interested in you. So I told my brother at that time, I said, okay, is he on WhatsApp? Then drop the contact, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So he forwarded his contact. And when I looked at my phone, it said Ernest. So, and I nearly dropped the phone because then I remembered my dream. dream. Yeah. So I says, okay, let me go ahead and talk to, still didn't tell my brother anything. Yeah. I said, let me go ahead and I'll talk to him. So we were talking. And it just seemed like a friendship, just a simple thing. I wasn't thinking anything of it, not knowing that Ernest had also gotten a prophecy about me. Oh, that yeah. his gift, yeah, prophecy was a dream. yeah, it uh -huh. was a prophecy in church. Okay. Because he's not a dreamer. But the confirmation came through God course, yeah. through a prophet in the church, and that prophet said that his gift was coming from across the ocean. That was before he met me. Mm -hmm. So anything that, this is what I know, anything that God does, it will come with a confirmation. Yeah, so at that point, I relaxed. We started talking. The relationship grew and grew. And then he proposed marriage to me, and I accepted. Mm -hmm. And that was my first journey to Ghana. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. This is interesting. In fact, your story 
ought to be put in a, in, in, in a book or something. Or yes, I am a, writing a, in a about movie, it. <laughs> because it's into a movie already, so <laughs> maybe a story will be created for how the oh, two of you met. Yes. And all okay. That. <laughs> Miriam, uh, my mm -hmm. mama can be asked what's that. It's a sad idea, but um, mm -hmm. maybe we start to say, uh, you know, a Hindu Shia wall, and all Kase said the air can win your commission that and also in your diet, Tabaji tap. No, 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 and now, be a beer whom a honour dear. No, let's say, eh, my men Yes. contact on the day, Hong Kong, on the say, I'm so okay, or dear, or my man and Cassa. Now, to be honest with you, no, or starting commona. And then, with me, come with TB. Yes, first, now with me, take a mile to two 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 to Okay. Okay. Fantastic. I was TV so and I was okay. Many Madame Christy Merritt Amwako and I said Mrs. Amwako and I was here on one Ghana TV. Medical so Chelsea and do do better if you to move and a shaman so die if you do them and don't you know a tuba cubin as well your cover to change say a semi clear product semi clear product it doesn't matter your color whether you are black chocolate or fair your type or how can it be blue so I'm on a new crown don't worry a pepper medical show the BS of one and yen to my anatta them papua and walk or say a copy be about tea Oh, wow, boy, we didn't come. Oh, my damn, we said, well, come on. If you had the last bright as mirror. This answer now is a semi clear product now, or body no a bear. So you to do it, Samia, or the oh, air cocos to say, Madame, or the oh, and the go fire mono, or some more dear oh, good to me, a dear Astra, come on. So, Bruchas never can go to me, Afk friend, yet via bro. No best no good screen, and so between a fat na yet via bro. So, and I'll call all the social media platforms na yo ho, TikTok. Oh, semi clear uh, official. Oh, so and uh, Instagram that's IG, Facebook, maybe a yeah, what you need to maybe be on to your camera and for mom. Who says, sister, maybe I'm a total her color now to win him. Oh, there's a new good job on the idea. Show the same way, tap tap sent. So, who did maybe a say you've been able to feel so where they've been able to set the bay on my name, school fees, whatever. Who did it when I have a tap tap sent it now? Make out so what you're putting in part of one or download do Apple or Apple store and I say. A play store, you give us a promo code, eh, then all one Ghana show automatically. Yeah, amount of five pounds and a five euros for free. South now American, Canada, a eh, ten dollars for free. Use a discount. So, yeah, and to way to tap tap the eh, and running for a eh, salmon a eh, tap tap no idea. So, pa pa no no. I'm gonna say as a medium coming over. Okay, so, um, back to the other questions. Uh, many people in Ghana. I mean, Africa, for that matter, love to go to America. Yeah. Uh, 
Is there any advice that you give to a Ghanaian or African who want to live in America? My advice to them is if they want to come and see America, no problem. I don't advise them to try to establish themselves and live there really? and forget about uh, their native country. No, I don't advise that because America is collapsing. America is collapsing. America is collapsing. And I, I'm going to be honest, and our currency, um, the value of the American dollar is also depreciating. Mm. And so uh, health care is collapsing, education is collapsing. We have a teaching shortage. My mother is a teacher. My oldest daughter is a teacher. Um, I'm also a nurse. And, and I can tell you that the health care system is collapsing. Many people cannot afford to buy their medicine, so they have to make a choice. In America? In America. So they have to make a choice. Where we have perception that it's a second heaven? Exactly. See, this is why I'm coming here, because I want to dispel some of the enchantment that has been placed on African people about America. Mm -hmm. I'm here as a truth teller. I yeah, have to tell the truth. Um, medicine, w one of my mother's medicines is $900 a month. Nine hundred dollars. So people say, "Oh, but Americans make a lot of money." Yes, but it takes a lot of money to live in America. By the time you pay your rent, your car payment, your rent can be two thousand a month. If you live in Florida, your rent can be as much as three thousand. Then you have your car, your insurance, your cell phone, your food. Do you know one watermelon could cost ten dollars? Mm -hmm. But Ernest told me that fruit here. It's very inexpensive. If you want to eat healthy and live healthy, you want to pay more. So there are a lot of homeless people in America, a lot of homeless children, a lot of foster children. Me as a nurse, I've taken care of foster children because we have a drug epidemic. We have a gun epidemic. There's a lot of shootings and killings. The police are killing our, our young black men and boys. Uh, there's still lynchings by the Ku Klux Klan. We're facing a lot of things. I am astonished by what you're saying. Yeah, it's true. It's if not true. because we're saying I wouldn't even believe because yes. th 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 this is what every average Ghanaian or African mm -hmm. want to go to America. Mm -hmm. So upon all this we're saying, even including some of our people who are there, mm -hmm. they do videos on social media mm -hmm. telling us that America is a heaven. Heaven, that's, that's, that's what we used to hear. So you're also telling us Mm -hmm. America is collapsing based on the fact that you've given. Yes, I'm yes. astonished. And if you watch the television and you see all of the things that are happening, it will put some fear in you. I remember, like, I brought my son here, and we were eating. Uh, we were out by a poolside, and we were having some lunch, mm -hmm. and he heard a loud noise, like bang, and he jumped. Your, He's 14, son. my son, yeah. because he thought someone was shooting. Mm -hmm. Because it's shooting. Because of the atmosphere yeah. he's coming from. School shooting. And we live in a very nice neighborhood, but the schools, anyone can come there and shoot. They have to have the police there always because we have a lot of children and uh, just strangers can come off the street. They have yeah. an agenda and they will shoot up the school. There's been shootings at restaurants, you know. Um, the other day uh, in Georgia, in Atlanta, someone mm -hmm. started shooting at the post office. Yeah. We don't know why, Whoa. but we all had to get under the cars because they were shooting. So it's very easy to own a gun. And if anybody says Americans love guns, that's the truth. Most everyone has a gun. It's as common as having a cell phone. Mm. And so like I got here and in traffic, you hear the horns beep, 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 beep. People will shoot you in America for honking your horn at mm. them. Yes. Just that. Just that. Little or nothing, they will drive up to you and shoot. Yeah. There was two <sighs> ladies, two white women, they were quarreling over a parking space at a shopping center. One lady pulled forward and took the parking space. The other one had a gun, got out, and shot her in the head. Just like that. Just like that. So we have a lot of things that are going on, and it makes, um, I know some people who said they were coming to Ghana because Ghana is supposed to be a safe place, and they, they say you don't have to worry about your kids getting shot by the police and things like that. She has an eight-year-old son. She said, can I seek asylum in Ghana? She wants to leave the United Somebody States. Somebody told you that. 
Yes, yes. I talked to her myself. Yes. Really? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That she wanted to seek asylum. She wants to seek asylum in, in Ghana. Ghana. Yes. Wow. A lot of us. Well, we are trying to run away see, from some people who come is, here. This is what boggles my mind. And I told Ernest, I said, <laughs> they are running into America. We're trying to come out. So these are the things that we know that we are not safe and we're not valued. And so there are people who are not just trying to come to Ghana. Some have gone to Tanzania. Some have gone to Kenya, anywhere that we have felt like we are welcome and we can establish a home by land. But we also don't want to come empty handed. We want to bring our skills. Yeah. And so that I believe and the Lord has given me unction that a house divided cannot stand. Yeah. And so what Africa needs, not just Ghana, is we all need a unity. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. there was an agenda mm -hmm. for them to take our name, take our identity, take our languages so that we couldn't trace our roots, our heritage. Now ancestry DNA is here. And now that people are finding out where they are and who they belong to, what tribe, they are going and seeking dual citizenship in those African countries. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. what's happening. Okay, let me translate it a little bit for my people. Okay, okay Monsieur, so Ms. Abisan say. Um, Ghana for you move to Africa for you move to the United States. So you go to America. You go to Santiago. You show a question to be. Now, the future of the Bama will be a horse. I dream. So now, see here. We be we be catch her. Now, so be snippy. I catch her. I say. So we go America. No, we go show her. You know, go the holiday. Be go to Naka. Kra. No, but they are fine. You must say we two two are so on. You know, we go to Naka. You know, go to America. There. La la. Anya de pa. I'm saying, ha, so say, America is heaven, or there be in heaven, sir. Then you may cost war, no, she said, Will be clever to me, bow car home, oh, Baba, we did it, buy a pow, 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 patch out in a mound, let it be a comma, and was our clan so. And then just was cools, oh, yeah, for now, if you crowd, oh, yum, they be announced no good, Jim, because we'll be able to be at the school more, I will cunk or four just like that, no call baby, in the America, dear, and you may say, in fact, or can I could see Americano, a good. Because any other crack crack is one where the patron two for crack the omuni na ebu bo marketing after baby dia muhafa kanya kusi sa crack kito a wedding film or chumpo chumbe kase when your baby an kubo dia na koshe because we hunt say when you save our America and also see America for blacks Americans omo ni na ano be brine for muhanga ne omo person be fee like omo bo omo dim no omo bans omo manan sapai omo pe baby dia ba na face omo discuss on so anya kupo dema omo na sa duma chedi omo no omo dia be boa inti we. Ana mi bumbu kakra mi tuwe nchi ni njia mu tika kakra mi sumi chesa bi huu sela ngoma no e sikro. Okay, so uh, are these the misconceptions about America, the uh, the creating problem between the black, you know, Americans and then we here in Africa? Yes, um, because on the television, yeah, this is what I've seen. They only show the good part about America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't show the people who are sleeping on the street, living in the forest, you know, in tents. They don't show the children who are also homeless, who are on the street corner with a sign, will work for food. They don't show all they of that. And they don't show that even our military, once they uh, retire out or the military or discharge from the military, they don't have adequate health care. You see, mm. so they don't even take care of the military in the way that they should. But they won't show that because what they want is they always want to pretend or create this facade that everything is lovely, but it does have its issues. And at the same time, mm. if you're living in America, the only thing you're going to see about Africa is they don't have water. The children are starving. They have flies on their mouth. There's been uh, United States drop rice from the air. You know, we used to see this coming up. It was always the starving children with the big bellies, and they were like nearly dead, and they would say, send $2 a month or $5 a month to feed a starving child in Africa. So we never thought that there was any value in Africa, none of the resources or gold or anything like that. Yeah. And in school, the only thing we knew was that Africans were slaves. We didn't hear about kings and queens mm -hmm. and warriors of great renown. Yeah. We only heard about, oh yeah, Africans were slaves or living trees, bones in their nose, it's a wild place. In fact, 
when I was coming to Ghana the first time, mm -hmm. my boss, because I was working as a nurse, she said, oh, you're going to Ghana? And I said, yes. Oh, be careful. Don't get eaten by a lion. Mm. You see? So this is... Yeah, this was the perception. Yeah, yeah. the white people. And, and, and aside from that, it is created, even like my son, he had a teacher, I think it was two years ago. She said, uh, Africa doesn't have any good water. You can't drink water in Africa. Mm. But do you know that there are cities and states right now in America that don't have good drinking water? So much that so that's impossible. Yes, so much so that some of the people have had to leave. Flint, Michigan, for example, mm -hmm. water has been contaminated for years now. For years. Hey. You see? But this is what they don't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> this is the things that do you know they what I said? I, I don't said, know. Don't, uh, I don't think you are deceiving us. Yeah, it's yes, yeah, true. Really? It's true. Michigan? Michigan. Of all but cities. that's not the only there was also a military base. The ground was so contaminated, they had to shut the base down and they had to leave. You mm. see? So water, um, oh, and the food. You know we had a formula shortage. So it was so bad that the women could not, some that could not breastfeed, they could not buy baby formula. Germany had to step in and help the United States and send us baby formula. Mm. So when I tell you things were getting very, very stressful. Okay. Mm -hmm. So per all this you say, meaning our people there are mm -hmm. deceiving us back home. They may they may be they, embarrassed they, they, and mm -hmm. not want to tell the whole truth. Because the struggle, I know that Ghana people, Ghanaians are struggling here. Mm -hmm. But here is what I know. If in, if anyone listening can hear me well, mm -hmm. the system is divine designed to lure you in. So that you work, you're going to make a lot of money, but you're going to incur a lot of debt. Mm -hmm. And if you think you're going to retire and live well off of your money, you will not. You are going to spend all of your savings on your medicine mm -hmm. because the medicine is very, very expensive. expensive. Yes. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Well, because this thing you are saying, um, up among the social media influencers, we have one call. Um, Chini Jonas, you may not know him, but okay. he's one guy, very influential, mm -hmm. very, the youth of this country are actually following him a lot. Okay. He does video, oh, this is America, heaven, meaning this is heaven. <laughs> Every one minute to be a buy bus, government has buses, uh, mm -hmm. you know, garbage trucks and all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and you're also saying something, people yes. are, will be confused about these two things because yes. our own guys mm -hmm. are there. I've mentioned Trinidad Jonas, I've mentioned yes. Kevin Taylor. Mm -hmm. These guys are in America mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they, they portray America to be, yes. you know, heaven. And you're also saying that it's not like, uh, that's when not the situation. Look, when you look at it, if I could take you right now, you see where I live, you would say, oh, it's a mansion. It's very nice. The environment is very beautiful. Yeah. But when you stay there a length of time and you go deeper, mm -hmm. you see, and you understand the real inner workings, I feel like God is calling those of us who are listening, he is calling us out of America. Mm -hmm. Because when I tell you all that glitters is not gold, America is very beautiful, very sparkly. Our parks, our hospitals, our schools, everything is extraordinarily beautiful. beautiful. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yeah. But it takes some time of living there so that you can see how the system is. And now think about it in this way. Me as a black American, if I'm experiencing racism and I was born in that country, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do you think they love Africans? Well, that's another question. Trump himself said that Africa was a shithole. Mm -hmm. He said that yeah, he said on that. television. Yeah, on television. You see? So what do you think they're going to think about? And even so, let me say it this way, because I was on a group where... There were Africans coming and they were wanting to live in America. They were yeah. trying to get jobs. Someone in the group said, you should make your name more European. Because if not, when they see the application and it looks like an African name, they're going to throw it away. And let me tell you what I said to them. Mm -hmm. My first name is Christy. Mm -hmm. The reason my mother named me this very plain, simple European name is for that very reason. Oh, okay. So that when I grew up, when I went to submit a job application, 
she didn't want it to sound like a typical black name. Yeah. Okay. In the seventies, it was like people were starting to try to create names that sounded more African. We were searching for ourselves, yeah. right? Yeah. And I asked my mother because I didn't like my name. I said, "Why did you name me Christy? It's so plain. There's nothing to it. There's no spice in it, right?" She said, "I didn't want." that when you go look for a job based on your name, they throw your yeah, they in, the, uh, in the garbage. Yeah. Yeah. I still thought she was crazy, right? Till I became an adult and I had a nursing job. So with this job, I'll just tell you briefly, the way you get hired was by comu computer. They yeah. don't see your face, they don't hear your voice. They send you some res or application, you complete it, send it back to them, send in your resume, boom, you're hired, yeah. right? One day, they said, we're having a team meeting among nurses, mm -hmm. and we need for you to travel to our main office. The, I've been working for them for three years. Yeah. Travel to their main office. I walked in. It's all of these white people. They're just looking around, not paying attention to me. And they said, why are you here? I said, I'm Christy Merritt. Mm -hmm. Their whole face become red. You're Christy Merritt? I said, yes. They said, the whole time we assumed that you were a white woman with blonde hair and blue eyes. They told me to my face. They assumed because of my name that I was white. Then I understood what my mother had been trying yeah. to protect me from. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's mm -hmm. very The confusing. racism is real. It's, it's real. real. It's very real. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this is what you just said is a bit confusing because... Mm -hmm. We have Ghanaians, we have Nigerians, we have uh, yes. other, you know, African countries mm -hmm. who are working there. When you talk about health, we have, we have nurses there yes. with their African names. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So comparing what you just said to this, is what I'm saying, how do we differentiate it? Yes. So I live in, and I've tried to explain this too with Ernest. If you look at Af uh, America as the whole of the 50 states. Mm -hmm. You can divide it between the northern half and the southern half. So the southern half of the United States, the deep south, mm -hmm. that is where I live. Okay. The racism is more blatant okay. in the south. In fact, um, after slavery, um, and, and a lot of times in the 40s up to the 60s, people desperately tried to leave the south. Mm. Because the north, although the north was not perfect, yeah. they had better experiences as a black person in the north. Mm. So my family remained in the south. I'm talking about Florida, Georgia, Alabama, mm. the Carolinas, north and south. That's heavily south. Yeah. So there are some towns right now, and I told Ernest when he visits, he, we will have to be careful, that you as a black person or any person of color, you cannot drive through those towns after the sun goes down. It's called sundown towns. Mm. If you are caught there, someone could kill you. Just like that. Just like that. Because their community is white. They don't want outsiders who are black mm -hmm. in those places. This is the South. So now in the North, there are places that are heavily more African, like in New York and Washington, D.C. And I believe, I don't have experience, but I believe that Africans have grouped themselves together in these cities mm. and that has given them a measure of safety mm. so what i'm speaking from i'm speaking from as somebody who grew up and lived okay. in the southern part of the united states oh, okay. yes mm -hmm. okay that's that's so let's yeah. talk about ghana a little bit uh so far how far uh, have you been able to eat some of our foods yes i have Which i one? have well i've had um jollof rice Mm -hmm. I had the tilapia. Cush. I cush, had, uh, cush. but last time I was here, I ate grass cutter and antelope. <laughs> I, I, I love trying. So I had, um, what is it? Wache. Wache. And Banku. Mm -hmm. I had hey, fufu. You've eaten all these foods. I've eaten a lot and of Did you yeah. have any, you know, experience? I mean, were you comfortable eating them? I was because. In my family, I'm different. I'm the one who eats anything and everything. Uh, I'm like my father. Mm -hmm. My father used to say he would eat anything that didn't eat him first. Mm -hmm. So I love trying new food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll try anything once. So in my country, I'll eat like octopus, alligator, turtle, you see snails, mm -hmm. all kinds of things. Okay. So for me, 
Ghana food was an adventure. Yeah. yeah, it was an adventure. I really do love jollof. Aside from jollof, I prefer the grass. Cutter. Our jollof, they cannot beat it. Too. Even <laughs> Nigerians are fighting us because of our jollof. That is what I heard. I heard that. Yeah. There's oh, a you heard it, right? Yes, I heard it. Yes, our jollof is mm, so special. Right. So, what about music? Do you follow Ghanaian musicians? Uh, have you been able to follow any of them? I don't know um, Ghanaian musicians. I don't really think. Well, Shada Wale, I think. Oh, hey, Shada Wale? Yeah. And, ah, yeah, they were kind of shy away, I didn't just him out. We but, call it um, Shatawale. Shatawale. Say it with him. Shatawale. <laughs> Shatawale. <laughs> but, um, uh, let's see. Simi. I don't know if they're Nigerian or, or but but those are some of the Sunny ones. Simi. Simi. Um, but I like Burner Boy, Mr. Easy. Oh, okay. Those kind okay, of, Okay, those yeah. are Nigerians. But, okay, Nigerians. But Shatawale is Ghanaian. Shatawale. Okay, yeah. So some Do of Do you know any of his songs? I, I really, do, I if I hear it, I do. But what I what I know is it's the beat that gets me. Yeah, baby, the baby, rhythm. we are chop kissing my baby. We have some <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. Wow, wow. So let's talk about year of return. Um, okay. Ghana has instituted something called year of return, mm -hmm. which has seen a lot of. Um, you know, black Americans coming down here, yes. the lives of Jesus, mm -hmm. so many of them. Yes. I mean, some of, some were actually uh, hired to work as presenters on some of our TV stations. Oh, uh, good, yes. good. So how do they also see there, the year of return in America? Oh, um, we were very excited when that happened. Yeah. And in fact, I was moved to tears mm -hmm. about it oh. because again, the perception was we were not welcome. We were seen as outsiders. So when I heard that, it was like year of return, and they were telling black Americans, you know, you are our brothers, our sisters, and you should come. It really, I really was moved. It moved me to tears because, and even the first time that I came, and Ernest can tell you, I cried and I cried because when I would go someplace, I was afraid that they could look at me and tell that I was not from Ghana. Mm -hmm. And my brother said, no, unless you speak, yeah. they don't know you are not Ghanaian. Of course. And so, and everyone treated me, it was almost like maybe as a child, I had left Ghana yeah. and then returned home. Yeah. It was like, she so yes, well. okay. treated me so well. And, and someone like me who in life, in school, I was ridiculed, always called nigger Ridicule? because because yeah, it because was white. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah, I had a, a white girl who touched my arm and did this because she thought maybe my black color would it's come dirty. off. And as a nurse, as an adult, I have been to homes simply to give people medicine and they wouldn't let me come in because I was black. They Whoa. said they don't allow niggers. So this thing we hear is not uh, stories. It's real. Something it's that's real. Happening. It's real. And, it, and you, some people say, oh, that happens a long time ago in the 50s or 60s. No, I'm telling you that it's still, I'm a nurse. And that even I had a lady who was near death. I hand her pills. She pushed them all on the floor. Whoa. She said, I don't take pills from a nigger nurse. Bring mm. me a white one. Wow. Yes, that is still going on. Wow. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why I love Ghana because I feel accepted yeah. when I'm here. Yeah. Yes. And you are so happy. I am. Mm. Fufu, I am. The first time you had Fufu, you didn't you run? We have something <laughs> called run. You ran to uh, and do sh uh, something small and come. You didn't experience any. No, I didn't have any stomach issues. Oh really? No, I didn't. Okay, so you yeah. say you, you 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 do take everything, so yeah. you can eat anything. Yes. Uh, I so have an iron The Ghanaian thing is in you before you got here. I think that, <laughs> yeah. yes. <laughs> right, that was your uh, uh, yeah, wife. Mm, your wife, crazy uh, marriage. I said, yeah, and someone walk canon. Yes, one could be a see uncle. No cranny, and someone walk canon. I know she yep. And some people are what take me a glass and quaint glass and quaint. Think about it. Or can some people be also a team yep. You better call Swanano at the trunk of Moka Cranes and Channel. Near the commodities, baby, we are bat. Answer near the corner, yeah, the boy room. Now, since you came, have you been able to visit any of the tourist sites in Ghana? This time I haven't. I uh, before I went to Elmina Castle, okay, yeah, you yeah, said that yeah, one yeah. was very um, it was hard, but I think that every 
person of the diaspora, not just in the United States, but anywhere the diaspora is scattered, yeah. they need to make a voyage to Elmina Castle because it was very, very informative, but also it was like the ancestors are there. Yeah. When you walk into that place, me as a black American, I felt like I had paid homage to, to the ones who had yeah. died and suffered before me yeah. so that I could have the opportunity to return, you see? Yeah. And that, it just was really, really very powerful. Mm -hmm. So I think that anyone who is able to travel, um, they need to get their visa, their passport, do it urgently because it's getting more difficult to get out of the United States. Yeah. Whereas you could get things quickly, the passport process is delayed because so many people are leaving, it's created a gridlock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's created a gridlock. But yeah, that was very powerful for me. I want to go to the Slave River. I want to see some of those things. Um, I went to, what was it, the, the palace? Menchia Palace. Yes. Menchia Palace, okay. okay. That's the yeah. And throne of uh, Ashanti. This time, so yeah. They didn't get a chance to enter because they were doing some renovation. Oh, yeah, man. so I want to go to that one. And um, also, I'm going to have a naming ceremony for myself and my son. So we'll get our African names. You're going to have a, a naming ceremony yeah. for yourself? Yeah. So what name are you thinking of? Um, well, I was born on Friday, so maybe, ah. maybe that should... I, I don't mean, know. I fear mean, Christy. We I'm call here. you Afia Christy. In Ghana, if you're born on Friday, we call you Afia. Afia, yes, yeah, Afia. exactly. And you, your name is Christy. So yes. we call you Afia Christy. Afia Christy. Yes, okay. and the gospel musician called Obapa Christy. Oh. So we add it up to you. So you oh. call uh, Obapa Fia Christy. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, that's nice. So uh, let's see. We've seen um, some of the black Americans mm -hmm. doing, you know, campaign or should I say advert for mm -hmm. the year of return, mm -hmm. which is hosted by Ghanaian the last time, and it was massive. Yes. Uh, how did they also, you know, receive this news back home in America? Oh, they were very excited. And I, so I've been talking to my family also, mm -hmm. my old, other children, my older children, about coming and seeing Ghana for themselves. My brother wants to come. And oh, my really? children want to come. My mother, she is uh, 75, and she was amazed at some of the things and the pictures that I showed her from Ghana's side. And I let her know that Ghana people are very nice, very warm, very mm -hmm. welcoming. You walk on the street, everyone's saying good morning. In America, it's not like that. You mm -hmm. just simply go in your house and close the door. Mm -hmm. But Ernest has showed me that people greet you, you greet them, you always just check on each other. Yeah. It's very much like a community. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that's, that's what, what I love. Yeah. I wow. do love that. Wow. Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, I was also my boss, I said, Mama, why feel in Kwan, I was saying, yeah, but we are also, you know, my worry, even though say a quantum thing, what the now also who is saying so far, how far? Because I'm not fooling say, Rambo, you know, come out and do the only way you're going to see now, but there should be a connection here. How far? On how many? Oh yeah, yeah. Now the best thing I'm going to say, and the four corners will be on in the subway. Okay. And now, baby, I raise it at the end. And now, I'm so dear, and so soon, I can cry. Now, graduate, now, stand by so on. No, me, who is say? I say, who who no said you must be paying no more certain. Now, it is said the baby, it's me. Koto, I'm wasi anya or money ani. Said the, who we see afa, ene no, afa no kwa afa no. A boy, my baby, I'm who he be ano. A boy, it's me be on baby, be cry, it's me sume be no manu kodi jani adi anya. I'm a yin yin ene who ndeka. Inti, inti ya, inti asie. Any about training a crocro. I shall say another day, not a yard cra, and so a chee corner, any idea. No, you see, I said, Matina say, now Miss Mitchell and say, Quine of a first row, or better, my saying tea, I fear, near my and yet, and you can, and yet, what I say, sir, Okay, okay. Now, you were Kumo or your worst away, you know, Utresini. Okay. Now back to you, my uh, should I call you my wife? Because my brother's wife is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> or I should start calling you by your new name, Efia Christy. <laughs> <laughs> or Mrs. Samwako. Okay. That's so Mrs. Samwako, um, let's see the relationship, you know, long distance mm -hmm. relationship. Um, how is it working for you? It is, it is 
let me say it in this way. It's not for everyone. Okay. I feel that Ernest is the right person for to endure this type of long distance relationship yeah. because he's very patient, he's very humble. And me myself, you know, because we are Christians. Yeah. So it's like we can endure through God. Mm -hmm. Do I like it? No, because I want to be with my husband. Of course. You see? But for the time being, this is how it is, mm -hmm. you know? So it's kind of like we have to manage in the best way that we can. Mm -hmm. But he and I have a very good relationship. Okay. But I don't cherish the fact that the distance. You live apart. Yes. Mm. Because he's very handsome. Yeah. I yeah. want to be with him always. Yeah. You yeah. see? So. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that is the only, um, you know, should I say, painful side that you live apart. Yes. You know, several that's painful. Uh, yeah. thousands of miles, miles away. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what do you intend to do? Um, are you going to, even though you said that your mommy even want to come and visit Ghana mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they all want to come, yeah. is it like you're coming to experience here and go back or you plan of settling back? Here in Ghana. Yes. Ernest and I have discussed that we would establish our home on this side. Okay. And that for the purpose of going to see family in the United States, we would visit mm -hmm. every few years or something of that nature. Yeah. But yeah, we definitely know that, you know, and because of my mission, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. with God, I understand that. I'm called out of America, and I'm not saying my path is for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I want Ernest to come to America so that he can meet everyone and see how everything is. But yeah. as far as us settling down there, no, that one is not mine. It should be. Yeah, it should down. be on this side. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one thing people will be surprised about is that due to the, uh, your mission, mm -hmm. you are uh, doing God's work, should I say, missionary work mm -hmm. and uh, you've spoken to so many people so you, perhaps you, you, you've spoken to so many men mm -hmm. why my brother why did you uh, choose my brother uh, on top of all the other people you may have spoken to well the thing was is when I was doing um, establishing myself in different countries mm -hmm. My sole purpose was the mission that God had given to me, which okay. came by way of a dream mm -hmm. in 2018. So the pastors... Are you an evangelist or yes. a prophetess? Well, they call me prophetess, okay. but I evangelize. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. But I'm very prophetic. Okay. So the God gave me, he gave me specific instructions in the dream. Mm -hmm. I wrote it in the front of my Bible. Mm -hmm. So I knew what I was supposed to be doing. And if you remember in the Bible, when Ruth met Boaz, Ruth was working. Yeah. She wasn't looking for a man. Yeah. So I had my head down focusing on God's work, you see. Yeah. And not just pastors, but there were a lot of women also in my globe. I call it the global team. Yeah. Okay. So the global team members were pastors, evangelists, prophets. They were in different parts of, Afri of Africa, mm -hmm. right? So it was never anything about me trying to get a husband. And I honestly had told God that I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't looking, you see? Mm -hmm. So when you're not looking, that is when he sends people your way because yeah. the Bible says you focus on God, everything else will be added to yeah, you. Of course. So for this man coming into my life, I can see that not only is it because to give me companionship and mm -hmm. real love, but it also boosts the mission mm -hmm. that the now, mission. yes, that we are doing together. Yeah. Because where there's two together, it's much stronger. Now we are two, but God is in the middle. Yeah. A threefold cord is not easily broken, yeah. you see? Okay. So, and I'm, I'm very humbled and grateful for him loving me especially with this distance between us, yeah. you see? But he is truly a man of God, and he has a heart for the people also. Yeah. He has a very charitable spirit, mm -hmm. and he loves to give, and that's yeah, the thing I yeah, love about yeah, him. Both, yeah, both fans yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. So, um, well, has it been supportive um, concerning the ministry? 
Yes, he is. Really? He is, yes. As you expected? Yes. Was it one Even of the... Even more mm -hmm. of my expectations. Oh, okay. It, it still... Beats your imagination. Oh, yes. Okay. Even Even sometimes I'll tell him, I'll say, huh, what kind of man are you? Because... It's above what I had even imagined in my mind. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for yes. That. Mm, mm. Okay. So that means, you, was it one of the reasons why you accepted it to, to be his wife? That somebody who will support your ministry? Well, that's part of the reason. But the only reason I can honestly tell you that I accepted the contact because the dream foretold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, I would have. Uh, he's just pretender, you mm -hmm. see. Okay, that, but the that dream opened the mind. door, yes, for and God knew what He was doing. Yeah. God knew that He had to give me some type of inclination yeah. that okay, this person is not going to hurt you. Okay, He's not going to scam you or defraud you in any way. Yeah. You see. Okay, you and had so, that fear too. Oh of course, yes, that's of, what course do, yeah. of course, of course, because you hear a lot of stories, you know. And say, oh, you know, this person did this or collected a lot of money from me and things like that. And so, yeah, if not for the dream and when we started talking, see, I'm very discerning of spirit. So when I heard his voice, it was like a peace came yeah. over me yeah. and said, I can trust this man. Mm. And I do. I trust him. You fed the rib of your head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So talking about defrauding, there's a case ongoing in America. I don't know if. It has crossed your mind, or oh, you've seen it on TV. There's mm -hmm. a, um, a female artist in Ghana by yeah. name Adia for real. I did see that. You, you've mm -hmm. seen it? Yes. How are yes. they treating the case over there? I don't know if they are really going to pursue the case in full because she is a woman. But the way it's looked at also is the amount of money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I'm not mistaken, wasn't it like millions of dollars? Mm -hmm. Was that millions? Yeah, that's Did what, I see that's, that right? That's what it said, yeah. Okay, okay. So that may mean that she will be um, having to pay that money back or mm -hmm. she will have to incur some jail time. Mm -hmm. to compensate for the money that, that she did. Mm -hmm. I was very surprised to see that, that that was a Ghanaian woman who did Why that. Why were you surprised? Well, because my perception of Ghanaians is that they're not that way. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're okay. not that way. Mm -hmm. um, I, I see them as being very humble and polite and being very honest and loving God. And I'm not saying that in no community there is everyone is perfect because we're human beings yeah, of course but i never expected the level of where she goes of to. yes that's what i didn't expect mm. yeah very but if you look at it will she go to jail per the rules of america no i don't think she will go to jail because she's not an american oh really i think there will be after money our system wants money you mm. see so if they throw her in jail Who's collecting money? Mm. I think they will have her to do something to repay the money. That's okay. what I think. Just my opinion. Okay. Yeah. But okay. it's all about money. So, like, we were even talking about with the, um, the traffic rules and things. Mm. There were 12 policemen who came out in New York City yeah. and, t and told that they were instructed that they had to get 30 arrests a month minimum mm -hmm. because every arrest that they get it's bonuses and everything that funds the police you yeah. see and so there's a quota that has to be made so they were instructed to go look for black people and hispanic people that they could find any little charge to take them to jail mm -hmm. and in order to get out of jail when you meet court there's heavy fines that are, yeah. are incurred mm -hmm. so like a thousand dollars for a traffic violation. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So their whole system is about money. Mm -hmm. So do I think this woman is going to prison? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I think that they want if the money. If she goes to jail, the money goes Who's for nothing. Who's getting the money? Okay. She can't do anything in jail. Mm -hmm. You see. So I think there's money that's going to be involved. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. I was saying breaking the crown for my own so I na mi bisa na se wate se Ghana ni bi di she. I mean Ghana di she bi aye. Haji for real, or no so son and one could in sense me or America men of course what take. Nay and one pa say Ghana ni ba pa na ye sad because when you say Ghana for the ye 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 buat ye ye winya misru and or sans you to say de ya binya you know bonin kitten kit we and temim baby a cuckoo drino na en one wa ne mwa deba ku say jail pa de and rea on kubi because o kujil scana shegu scana he 
scan so America for money he sa kwa bi aso on be pe kwa bi so on be ji scan de abana no ochi chi ten ten komo no there there was this thing you said about you know living in America and all that but some of our people are there and mm -hmm. they've been able to establish you know something here they yeah. build houses mm -hmm. blah 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 mm -hmm. even though it's unfortunate a man you know shot himself i don't know if you heard about mm -hmm. it yeah mm -hmm. so if you say it's not that place is not so good for africans or Ghanaians, mm -hmm. somebody will be a bit confused because people are making yeah. comedies out mm -hmm. yeah what about that if you really love god deeply have a relationship with god you will not be happy with the way things are in america um, they don't revere God in that way that I have seen among African people. Mm. That's one aspect. Yeah. The other aspect is the financial. Mm -hmm. You can make all the money. You can be anything you want. Yeah. We had Barack Obama. Yeah. So if you want to be president, you can be the next president. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is the system is designed to make you work, work, work Ooh, continuously. Yeah. If you had multiple businesses and it's bringing you multiple streams of income, you're not going to have peace at night because you have to see those businesses yeah, to fruition. Yeah, and so yeah. you're constantly running on a hamster's wheel. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. If you want that kind of life, again, but it comes with its downside, which is by the time you are in your 70s, you think you're going to cross your feet and enjoy your money? Mm, no. Yeah, of course You're no. young. Right now, but when you get older, you're going to want to slow down and take it easy. Yeah. Do you know that they take money out of our check mm -hmm. that we get? Yeah. And they say it's going to be for Social Security. Yeah. But someone of my age, by the time I'm in my 70s, Social Security is not even going to be available to me anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is the, the, the gold. It's, I call it fool's gold. Mm -hmm. It looks good. It sounds good. We have lots of programs to help people, yeah. but at the end of the day, you are enslaved to it. Mm -hmm. Like I told Ernest, you can come to America, don't have to work for food, you don't have to work for a house. The government will supply all of it. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You have to live where they tell you, and the house that they give you is not going to be that great, mm -hmm. and you're going to lay in bed and hear gunshots at night. Wow. You're going to eat the food that they tell you, but the food is not going to be good food. So now you have diabetes, the high blood pressure. Yeah. Oh, but now you can't afford to pay your medicine because you didn't work. So the government has to pay for your medicine. And guess what I can attest to you? Mm -hmm. I used to work for a doctor's office, right? Yeah. People who had health insurance. They had medicine out of this cabinet. The people who were poor and could not afford, they had medicine out of this cabinet. So meaning the medicine that the government will give the poor people yeah. is not the same quality yeah, as the damage, medicine yeah. that people. So if you had cancer, your cancer drug is going to be a bit substandard, yeah. you see, because you can't afford it. Yeah. And so that's how it is. I remember working in the hospital as a nurse and... There was a man who came who was homeless. He had a wound. I reached for the bandages on the shelf. To me, a bandage is a bandage. This yeah. person needs help. Yeah. The head nurse said, no, 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 not these expensive bandages. Let's put these on him. Because those were the ones that were funded by the government mm. that were the material was very thin. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the things that I've seen with my own eyes. Mm. So, you know, I say that everyone won't wake up and see the truth, but there are some who are waking up who will absolutely confirm that what I'm saying is you will live good, you can party and all these things you want to do, make you feel important, wear nice clothes and drive a nice car. But when you reach your oldest age, That's where you will not is. get your peace. Mm, yeah. yeah, you will okay. not get your peace. For the sake of time, um, mm -hmm. we I think we we'll wrap up soon, okay. and then we would love to have you another day. But um, before we do that, year of return, when do you intend to experience it? I mean, do you have plans of, uh, you know, attending in one of these days? Yes, I do plan to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that I don't know much about it, I was uh -huh. going to ask you mm -hmm. if there were things they need to put in place to attract more people coming down here, even though some artists, I mean, some celebrities yes. have already than the that's what i was going to say yeah when the celebrity started showing up mm -hmm. it made other people just like with my family mm -hmm. 
the fact that I've come here twice now and nothing has happened to me mm -hmm. is getting them more interested in yeah, coming. Yeah. Because at first they were a little yeah, them more afraid. Convinced yeah, that, now yeah. they're okay. okay. So that is what we see. When we see the, I know Steve Harvey came. He went to Elmina Castle. Idris Elba was here. Um, Lisa Ray was here. Um, I think she was even crowned like Queen Mother oh, or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. So when we see that, that helps. So for me, that is what I think is great is that well-known people, once they start saying, yeah, I went to Ghana and this and this and this, and Ghana is leading the way. Yeah. As far as welcoming the diaspora yeah, in, yeah. Ghana is at the top, yeah. you see? Yeah. yeah, that's how that's how it is. Okay, mm -hmm. so we ended here, but um, how can people reach you on social media? If you have any social media platforms that people can actually link up with you? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. So my social media media is Africa Reunited. It's all spelled Africa one Africa Reunited. Reunited. It's okay. all one word. Let me let me say it now our own. Uh -huh. Africa Reunited. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is my Facebook. Yeah. On TikTok, Africa Reunited, and on YouTube, they can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Africa Reunited. Right. It's all one word. Okay. When they type it in. You don't in. separate it. You don't separate yeah. okay. it. It's all Africa together. Africa Reunited. Africa Reunited. I'm mm. talking about a lot of political issues. I'm giving some history. Oh, you talking about politics? Yes. I'm okay. giving some history on there. I'm also giving uh, the word of God and getting people to really think about who they are as a people and what God and has called dream. them to do. Yep, dream you also interpret, interpret dreams. Interpret dreams. Okay. Yes. So if anyone has a dream and they need to reach me for interpretation, yes, mm. I'm also that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So planning of coming to settle in Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, some think our economy is so broken. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about that? Yes. And Can I, you cope with it? I do see that there is a, a very great need in Ghana mm -hmm. with the infrastructure, with the government, all of this. But what I also know is Ghana is still a relatively new country. Yeah, you see, a hasn't even country, had yeah. a hundred years under her belt, yeah. Yet, right? Yeah. But what I know is, and what God has also shown me that, just like if you want to run a race and I broke one of your legs, can yeah. you run? No way. You could try, yeah. but it wouldn't be efficient. Of course. So it's gonna take us coming together, Africans and the people of the diaspora, coming together and unifying each other. Not anyone coming over here to lay up on Ghana and be lazy, yeah. but we need workers, educators, people to open schools and do all, all the things that Ghana needs. We Ghana need corporate will, skills to Yes, build, and it will yeah. come up. Ghana yeah. will come up. Now, I may not be alive to see the whole completion, but I definitely believe I'm on the precipice of the re revolution. Okay. And not just with Ghana, all African countries. countries. I okay. do believe that. Okay. That's what it's going to take. The remnant is going to be gathered back to itself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So any advice for the youth of Africa and for that matter, I mean Ghana for that matter, Africa? I want the youth of, of Ghana and African countries to get out of the mindset that they are substandard. Mm -hmm. They come from royalty, kings and queens, and they need to see themselves in such a way that reflects that mindset. They need to have a total change of mind and not chase after the things of the Western world. It was not created for us. It was created for a mental bondage, right? Okay. So I have a saying that lack of knowledge is a mental suicide. Yeah. So when they're looking at social media and trying to be someone else or emulate someone else, it's not helping. Mm. Some of their culture and their history, they need to cling to it. They need to not fall away from it. And I think that that would help them because when you go into the world, the world is full of wolves, right? Okay. So they need to be strong in who they are. Okay. Yeah, that's what I think. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your yeah. time. And then we hope to see you some other time with, you know, a lot of, you know, knowledge. Your thoughts are very powerful. Thank you. And uh, we are going to bring more dreams for you to interpret. Yes. And also, um, you know, give us more insight about how the history of Africans and, uh, you know, those in diaspora will yes. come together and build a, a loving country as we all wish to have. Yes. Rambo. Oh, there they say, I'm in here. 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 I'
Oh, that's it. What that's it? But I said, I said, holiday. I said, well, I feel her. I said, when you so change, I'll put my boobs out. Okay. And somebody got to one out. Yes, sorry. Eh, da, eh, tu mfonyi anko pwansi kwa di pepe, so awo di abedri ni miye se ba ya mwusuma jeja ya mwa jye feso ma, ni ma e se, ni hiye bi aso nyame na mwusuma edi kwa kwa mwusuma ti diye kane se, ibo nyame mpaye na ni ma o ba ya, o chile chile no diye papa o mwuno, yunu ya mwufentu o mwufu ok ti ya mwe kasa ngwa bibre ok so, if I should repeat the social media platforms that you are Africa United Reunite. Reunite on yes. um, YouTube. Yes. That's the YouTube channel. Yes. And then Instagram. On Facebook. On Facebook. Africa Reunited. Africa Reunited. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a good thing for us that you can't know or the food to now, but or say Ghana. You will see a economy now. The donor fee say it's broken. I mean, at the Japan, I'm not sure. No. See, now you buy a house. Now you pay say. We be trick out. See, be. We be say we trick out. See, be. We be just a fee. Be. And because I'm not like entry and home fees. I'm not money. I'm not home. Now face you. I'm not. Now I'm on so a eba year of return. No. You make sure say more more ban. Oh, more now more ban. More the scale say ba. Then you now carry on. Say Ghana. Be to me as a pedia. I go do pen pen. So be in a hurry. Come on. Oh, I want. Tibia, so one tea, Nemani Nasia, no fan Sam, a boom and the ammo, a brain tea, into me and Chenina. Meeting added Nana coffee, a jeans capa, which you have from Mr. Frank. Hi, I want Ghana TV. Nami Queen, I'm just a da, a dema, a semi-clear product. Yes, semi-clear product. A producta, sir, or ba na bear my person, one am Casamon, war ba, who sees you a sabbat, Dubai, grandfa, uncle, hoda, let us warm up, or so to be a did near from Meshima. Se bodi no, o si tu bi kasa de ma on. Ti wo o ba na peso honam no, e ye naha naha, so chen kama, mwo e ye mese sa ose, ni mida ho kle. Ti wo so peso nya sa, kle bodi ni bi ya, e ye si me kle. On all the social media platforms no, si me kle, e wo ho, a bi tu yan fa. Tu ntumo, koko, ya wo hono di, e ti wo fre yan, na wa che, mi ya me kase, mi yoko da ki, mi hu ye tu 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 tu, ni ya ma, o di ya na, bodi na e se, naha kama. Sa anso na wo e buru chile kura, na wo a, e bi tu di bi ya brew. E no so dan chen ya, tap tap send. Abe fute kwante mpwe di sendisika. Bobo de sobe yusu app no. Ewo. Ufun. So download the app. Ni misa promo code. Uwa Canada ni USA. Ye chao. Ten dollars for free. Sa asu na wo. Eye. Euro pwa. E hoso. Eye. Five pounds or five euros for free. O sendisika nswa. Yen sa asu ente o hwe. Ya da asa oje bre. E ni e di inkobo. Amin chia. Eye. Obo fwo. Last chance travel and tours. O she wang gana pa. Nyan kupo nisha bebi ya obi ya. Let me add my best answer here. So I can German you walk. I'm gonna say thank you. Yeah, Ojo. What's on this channel? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna check them in San Fran. Kaish, a soon top top send party, Jack. Mama, we are saying can you? Hey, remember that? Offer, but I'm a man from. He know what we need to say. Masunya yes, no nana. Nada. So baby, I'm ready to meet you. I'm gonna offer send this scan. Didn't care what the cost is. We just need to pack red this scan. Oh. You're the boy, and so I'm going to go here. I want some baby. I feel like I'm going to buy some of my transaction or order. Ah, Debbie. And catch you, brother. Catch your offer, say. On download do tap tap send. So download do tap tap send that or send this camera wire. I'm about to send mobile money and our bank account. Simple. Tap tap send. Yeah, tap tap send. Now, okay. Tap tap send it here. We are safe for another baby. We are so what Europe and us America, Canada. So, cry Android, so cut iPhone. And once I download the app, not too full. So, in the process, maybe I'll say a promo code. Hey, yeah. Now, I'm going to ask you a bus automatically. No, yeah, chow five pounds and a five euros. And we are more and more Europe. Se o Amerika na Kanada, ye chao, e ye $10 for free. O sendi skansua, ye ntowe. Tap tap sendi diye, no fee. Hey, neje se u kayo. Tap tap send. Pa, pa, no, no, no.